Greetings, and what an incredible day today is turning out to be. Two reasons for making this video. The first, I've talked about this in the way Rudolf Steiner describes it as the etheric body, the astral body, and the eye organisation. Have a listen to the latest video I've just listened to by Ken Wheeler, Fiora Apopiosis channel. And he talks about it, about the radio, the modulation, the frequency and the broadcast. So simple and to grasp. And that is it. Everything is really simple. Um, so the reason, or well, the first part, the first reason for making this video is I think it's fair to say that Ken has given a lot and, and translated and published a lot of things and made some fantastic videos that really make sense of things. And if any of you can show your appreciation, I mean, the guy, I'm sure, look and looking at the comments on some of his videos, the guy deserves a holiday, deserves a break. So I wish I was in a position to do this myself, but. I'm using the facilities, so I'm putting this message out because it's. I feel he, ne he needs a break or some financial assistance because what it, the work he shows is wonderful. I'm, now I'm not trying to put him on a pedestal, but uh, it makes perfect sense to me. Second part of this video. I don't care what you you think, what you believe about whether we're in a simulation or not. But there are certain things that seem to happen that defy any logical or material explanation. Take today, for example. I've just watched this latest video from Ken, Fiora, Fiora Apotheosis channel. He talks about things, the answers being so simple. Subsequently, I watch the latest from Julia, Simplicity Revealed. I hadn't actually noticed initially, but I clicked on the video at 12.44. The video was published four hours previous. It had, had 44 views and I became like number 12. So you've got this 12.44 thing being reflected. Um, I reply or leave a comment on Julia's video. I happened to click on the notifications. I'd, I'd posted up, it said, comment posted 33 minutes ago and Julia had replied three minutes later and her reply to my comment was 30 minutes later. So again, you've got this 333, 1244 thing going on. It's, it's just amazing. It's like, Is it Jason Archaic's channel says when there are that many coincidences it's no longer a coincidence it shows something and talking of which to use Archaic's channel's term similichrome there's a metaf metaphorical to this if you think about it you're smiling at the chrome I mean some of you may even be using Chromebook for example if you Google looking <laughs> but smile a chrome so a smile you give somebody a smile and you're putting out a positive energy physically with a smile that can sometimes brighten somebody's day so smile a chrome what is chrome well it's a very sort of silvery thing like on a car bumper it reflects light smile a chrome smell a chrome so when you, I see these things, I can't help but smile because it's like the universe is responding. I put out a positive wish. No matter how, it, how this works, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just seeing and I'm giving testimony of what I've witnessed. And it's in the, if you look at the respective videos and the comments, you, you see these things. So there's 
to the witnesses, as it were. Isn't it funny how even through the system that things are shown? I think I need to go back to that mirror analogy again. You see, when you look in the mirror, something else to keep in mind. The reflection that doesn't have a soul, doesn't have a spirit, that is just a 2D shallow reflection of the avatar. When you go left, it goes right. Now on the vertical plane, things are correct, but on the horizontal plane, things are opposites. And are we not on a horizontal and earthing plane of duality? So is it not therefore shown right there in the reflection? So that's why I smile at the semelochrome. <laughs> because it just defies human lower eye comprehension. It's unlocking a key within inside yourself. Some of it, when you unlock, things at first can seem like being finding yourself in a very cold night sky Atlantic like you've not gone down with a sinking ship with a Titanic you've not gone to such depths but it can feel very unpleasant and very disorientating and you don't know which way to go for land but again be like the Bu be like the Buddha Go to the place of the sun, sit under the Bodhi tree, which is your spine. The Buddha is your body, but it's the internal body. It's the hairless man, generic man. That's all it is showing, and it's showing about the breathing, which Julia just mentioned um, in the latest video. That's why the Buddha is shown as the belly, because it's emphasis on where the breathing is coming from. It's coming from the place of the sun. Not this shallow, fast breathing, the fight or flight. You haven't got time to think, you can only react. But it's not about reaction. It's about weighing things up. The true sight is always in the feeling. There's a macro and a micro to everything. Don't forget that. So, talking in terms of reset, for example, consider the micro, the internal. What is being reset in you? What are you tuning into? Are you that radio? Are you? What is your modulation? What frequency are on, and what broadcast are you picking up on? Are you scanning across various stations? I mean, it's a multiverse, is it not? So you can scan the horizon of the uh, across the wave. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. I know there's no such thing as a wave. It's the action of something else. The how do you describe it? Well, I suppose you could say it's the consubstantiality of something and something else. Like pretty much, I'd, I'd say, the projection above you, the stars and everything are coming from within something that we are on in. It's all about going within and acknowledging how you feel about things and not letting those feel feelings cause a mutiny on the vessel and taking over from the captain, you need to remain the captain and the king of that vessel. Be an individual. In you all is the word divid. So you've got two IDs, there's the die and the identity. And when you see the V, CV between, it's also expressed as David, as King David, biblically. So you've got to see what's being divided in yourself and it's the conflict between the conscious and the subconscious and it's when you cross the Red Sea and you bring those two hemispheres, that unity within one. 
which of course is played out in the distorted reflection, which I believe they call transgenderism. Because it's always, always taken from an unseen spiritual and it is played out in a very tw twisted or distorted way in a material, solid state. There's a pattern with everything that seems to follow this. And even looking in the physical world, where does a baby start? Where does the creation spark of creation where the seed and the egg come together? The one and the zero, the zero and the one. It's in the unseen, is it not? The first indication of it is when the mother gets sensations, gets a feeling. That's true sight. Think also the communication with your avatar, your physical body. If it is feeling ill, it's sending you a message to say, stop, rest. That's all it's doing. It's not revolting against, it's not turning against you, it's giving you a signal to have this dialogue between the real you and the avatar. Finding that balance. These is expressed in the soup like the Schumann resonance and about incoming energies. Well it's coming from the unseen and it it's like it's just like creation. It comes from the unseen and it comes out as a physical manifestation. The bodies will feel it. So give yourself time to rest and reflect. Don't be busy. Be a you man. Being being human, sitting under that Bodhi tree, being in the body, and being aware that you are in the body. You are not the body. Just an outer covering. It'll be cleaved apart like any seed, it splits open. There come a point, there will come a point where you are. So the, the Grim Reaper, the Harvester, is all about its cleaving. It's opening up to see if there's a pearl within the oyster shell. They're just metaphorical and allegorical expressions in different times where languages, because languages clearly change. Look at Shakespeare in English, for example. How does the, thy, how does the, how does, oh, I can't even say it, but you know the sort of thing, compare thee to a summer's day. <laughs> it has sort of a, a sort of a, a question phrased way of saying I think you're beautiful <laughs> but um, it's all basically the same but it's subject to time and time changes things the physical avatars being another example anyway that's plenty there what are we up to 13 minutes no, I'm not making any other numbers here <laughs> so Wishing you all a wonderful day, and just as a reminder, if you can find it in your heart, and that's where we should do everything, from the heart. See the world neutral, and you neutralise it, and now you can put out a positive energy, and it's going to skate right across and get where it's meant to go. That, I, I would say, is key. It's, it is an energy that is neutral. Now, how you feel can affect whether you see it as a negative or a positive, but if you're neutral to it, now you can put out a positive on the neutral. It's not going to be, um, it's not going to meet the resistance. Because it's moving in the unseen, it's your true Wi-Fi signal of the spirit. Have fun with it, experiment with it. And See what you can put out and how you can help others unlock it in themselves. And of course it will come back. You don't have to have expectations. I know it will come back because I have had it proved to me many, many times when things seem at their most grim. If I don't feel that and I deny that external fact and I replace it with an imaginational act as Neville Goddard would say, it flips the script and it makes things so much better in your world. Because don't forget, anybody that is 
coming on that into tuning into that same frequency to that same broadcast you're in that same on that same frequency you're in that same bubble therefore you are in that same world maybe just temporarily but in that moment it's always in the moment well we've gone on longer <laughs> after saying that's it I've talked too long so a few things there to just let it settle within you and mull it over whether it feels right what's being said here and the intention is that it benefits you and it it is all about speaking from here the middle path and that's the middle chakra the heart Love you all and ta-ta for now and if you can help Ken, please do. Bye-bye.